morning, friends. Yes, it's late at night. Well, it's not late at night, but it's dark out because it's getting dark at 5 o'clock now. So, we are coming to you using an electrical light. I hope this is going to work out right. Um, I'm still at my friend's house babysitting her dogs. And I have a project to share with you. I'd like to show you how to make these Christmas flowers using water bottles. These type of flowers using a water bottle. Okay, so you know how I love to recycle, and I'm not the greatest at tutorials. Already cut the top off of here. Best way to use this is to usually do this is with a heating tool such as a soldering iron or a wood burning and just melt it off melt the top off but since I'm here and I don't have that tool here I have done this ahead of time with the knife very very carefully then you're going to remove the label of the water bottle and a lot of this is really simple real easy so you end up like this now you're going to take a pair of scissors and you're going to go slightly above the halfway mark on this water bottle to cut it. But the reason why I like water bottles, if you can see, there's all these little curls and lines and everything. Those are all going to make our petals of our flower look extra special. Let's see, how big do I want this one? Right there. Once you get it... You just cut it in half, or a little bit. I like my bottom part to be a little bigger than half, so I got it almost perfectly in half this time. But now you can cut these in five or six, but you're going to cut down the side all the way to the bottom of this one. And you're going to make make sure it goes all the way down to the very bottom. Okay? Then I take two fingers. Because if I take two fingers and then stick it inside, that kind of measures it. And two fingers usually gets me five petals. And I just stick my fingers in, and then I go to the side of my fingers and cut down to the middle, to the thing. Ah, that did not work right. This bottle is a little bit smaller. Dang it. It only gave me four petals. Okay. So I end up with four petals on this one. But you can do five, you can do six. This one ended up with four. I will be able to fix this. But I won't have time to do that right this minute while I'm trying to teach you. So I'm just going to go ahead because I can. Um, then when you're doing this side, you want to do whatever you did on this one, you want to do on this one. Okay? But you have to be very careful when you're cutting down on this one that you leave just a little bit. You don't want to go all the way down. You want to leave just a little bit and when you fold them out like this we're going to start folding them out and bending them out like this and you're going to do that on the other one so you have to have it connected you want it to stay in that circle oh i can okay so you fold them out all of your petals outward okay now you're going to take your scissors and you're going to come in and kind of get in the middle of that and kind of curve it around on both sides. And you want to make sure that there's a point. And I don't know how well you can see that, but that top needs to be really pointed. That This tip needs to be pointed because... 
of the flower petal you you're making a Christmas flower and you want the pe petal to be pointed it's really hard to see that because these are clear right now then you're going to take these and what I like to usually use is the stain that you use to do sun catchers but I don't have that here so what I've done is I've taken acrylic paint and I brushed it on to paint my flower okay you can paint front and back but you only need to paint the front and see this is this is the top part of the bottle it's not going to be perfectly centered in the middle if you want it more round in the center you can heat this up you can heat this up and it'll kind of melt it and you can make it more round okay and then i've taken this paste gel from vicky Buten created flex i don't know what it is i don't know what it's supposed to be used for i just happened to buy it from a friend's shop who was going out of business and it was on very special but it's like this putty stuff uh, let's see if i can show you it's like it's like a paste putty and i got it in gold and silver and i took that and i put it whoops i put it around the edges of my flowers and then dad rubbed some onto the petals if you don't have that that's fine you can put some glitter you can do whatever you'd like i've used this iridescent glitter glue from walmart um on some of my flowers to give them a little extra sparkle um you can do that on the edges if you want then you're going to take your bottom piece of your flower and see the bottom outside of the container is on the back okay the inside of the container has like a little divot thing that points in that's going to go on the inside then you're going to take this one with your hot glue and you're going to put it there kind of offset the leaves a little bit and press it down really press it down so that hot glue glues it really stable because otherwise it's going to stick way up like that so you but when you hot glue it you press it down so that it kind of flattens it out a little bit more okay so in the middle what i've done is i've taken a punched out circle and i put that right over the middle so that you can't see that it's not perfectly round now on these flowers i've used gold this one I'm using red and you can do the flat pack pearls and bling pieces in the middle you can use flower stems in the middle you could put a pile of glitter or sequins in the middle this NYX flower I'm going to put this little die cut flower piece into the middle of this flower and glue it so that it's all glued together like so that's how that one's going to be now you've seen my tutorial on what to do with the lids so this is what you do to the bottom part second part of this is if like i only have a few um water bottles right now so i've got them i'm working on and then if you have a soda bottle and it doesn't have all these fancy ridges on it in a day or two i'm going to show you how you can use them in a recycled christmas project so this has very been a very quick very easy um tutorial i guess share i haven't really tutorialed you but I've walked you through of how I've done it. Just if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. If, um, 
you think this is a cute idea and you like it, let me know. If you want to see more, let me know. If you don't like it, please um, let me know below. If you're going to push the thumbs down, then comment so that I know what what you didn't like. Okay. Um, I don't. If you like it, you can subscribe. If you want to be of one of my friends, go ahead and subscribe. Push the like button if you like. If you want to. At no point are you mandatory to push that subscribe button. Even when I'm running contests, I will never ever have you do that as part of the contest because that's your choice. If you want to be my friend, it's your choice. Um, I do want to let everyone know that everyone except for Joe from Florida, which I'm going to have the video next, um, I've sent your smile mail. Please let me know if you received it because I'm really excited to see if you guys enjoy them and I make you smile. Okay, on to the next video. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>